So Tronis now has just completed the third set of flight trials. Um, we've uh, been conducting those trials out in Australia at the Woomera Test Facility um, and now it's been looking very much at the overall uh, level of uh, performance of the system as, as an overall end-to-end -end system, not just the flight control of the vehicle but also the way in which you use it in, in operational battle space. Could you say what comes next on the programme please? So we're now bringing together the output from the UK's Tiranis programme with uh, the results from the European Neuron programme led by Dassault um, and working together with French industry now under the banner of the Defence Accord between the UK and France. We've been working now for something like four years, getting to the, this point where uh, the two governments are now t preparing to commit to the next stage of a joint demonstrator programme for the mid-2020s. And that'll be a marriage of uh, Neuron and Tyrannus? It'll bring those two technologies in, but then step it on to the next, next stage. So both of those aeroplanes have very much been technology demonstrators. What the governments are now looking for is for us to put that into more of an operational space. So the, the configuration of the system and the way in which it operates will now be moving on to explore those new, new areas. We see it as a way of putting manned aeroplanes teamed with unmanned aircraft. So if you like using it as a wingman for a typhoon, uh, but getting to a point where the, the unmanned combat vehicle can potentially operate in very heavily contested airspace where today's generation of aeroplanes uh, couldn't necessarily fly. So the, the production will be a joint French, Anglo-French aircraft? It'll be a joint programme. It'll be leading to the, the development initially of two demonstrators, uh, one for the UK, one for France, out of a common core programme. Um, and we'll be putting those aeroplanes into flight trials towards the middle uh, of the next decade. Thank you very much indeed.